Linux users, this is the video for you. Why? Because we are releasing a fully featured Surfshark Linux application. Let's talk all about it right now. The Linux app update has been the number one requested thing since the start of Surfshark. We knew that entering commands into a black terminal window was not convenient at all, which is why our developers worked hard to bring you this update that, quite honestly, not a lot of other VPNs have. Let's first talk about compatibility. At the moment, this GUI update is only supported on Ubuntu. That being said, it may also work with other Debian-based distros such as Kali Linux. To get the app, jump over to surfshark.com and at the top, click on VPN. Now, just select Linux. On this new page, click Download. Make sure to install the downloaded file, which is only the repository installer. After that, open your terminal by pressing Ctrl and T keys together or by navigating to it from the apps menu. In the terminal, enter the following commands, sudo apt update, followed by sudo apt install Surfshark. And that's it. You'll now find Surfshark in your apps menu. Once you open the app, you will immediately notice how different it looks. No longer will you have to type in commands in order to connect to a server. Instead, it now functions like other Surfshark apps. So let's quickly go over the new features that were added with this update. First and foremost, the new interface allows you to quickly connect to the nearest, fastest, static IP and multi-hop locations. You can also check each server's latency and favorite it so that you can connect to it quicker next time. Now let's move on to the settings and then VPN settings because there's a really nice surprise in there. Say hello to the WireGuard protocol. Enjoy fast speeds and stable connection with this cutting edge VPN protocol. Additionally, here we can also find CleanWeb, which wasn't available before. If we go back and go to the app settings, here you'll find theme options such as dark mode, light mode, or follow system. And in the get help section, you'll see options to access our written guides, report a bug, contact our customer support, and reset your VPN profile in case you're having issues connecting. Finally, we also implemented the status bar shortcut so that you can quickly connect, disconnect, or quit the app. We understand that the wait for this update was quite long, but we hope that the result is worth it. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe to our YouTube channel in the comments below. Let us know what do you think of the update. And here are two more videos that I think you'll like. But that is all for me. Take care.